Hi, my name is Daniel and you're watching the Rogue Clone Trooper channel. So I want to tell you about the new costume I'm building. I know I still haven't finished my clone armor, but um, as you might have seen in my previous videos, I had a problem getting the clone belt um, from a person who said he was going to give it to me, and in the end he's not. So now I'm going to find a new source for that. And I do have a friend in Germany who is making some, but um, I'm waiting on him at the moment. So at the moment my clone armor is in a little bit of a hold um, for further notice. So at the moment I'm starting to make um, Captain Rex's Jungle Assault uniform. Um, this was seen in Episode 5 Season 2 where uh, the Jedi and Captain Rex go to Alderaan to help the um, insurgents there fight back for their country. Um, it's a costume that I have always loved from the first time I've seen it and I thought this is going to be very easy to make and I really want to try and make it and so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, and I've waited until now to make this video because I have practically finished the main part of the actual clothing part of the uniform and only need to make um, the helmet, the backpack and the sidearms to go with it. So this part of the video basically is just going to be about the main part of the uniform that I have been making and tell you how, I'm, how I've been making it and where I've got the parts from. And so this video is going to be all about that. I'm going to leave in the description box below the places uh, that I've actually got all these parts from. Um, a lot of them are quite easy. We're going to start from the top and work our way down. Okay. Um, basically, the black suit itself, it's an Imperial officer's uniform that I picked up on AliExpress. You're thinking, why did you buy it from AliExpress? Well, the main reason is that I didn't want to spend lots of money on an expensive uniform that I was going to cut and alter. Um, I'd rather buy a cheaper uniform that then if it wasn't too good, I could still make better. And I was really, really surprised. Um, I picked this uniform up for about uh, 7,000 yen, which is about 50 pounds sterling, maybe nearly $60 US uh, with free shipping. And the quality is amazing. It's a fully lined jacket. Um, very well made and I've really had no problems with it and working with it has been a dream um, so I do highly recommend anybody who wants to get a cheap officer's uniform from them. Um, what alterations have I done with it? Well the jacket itself I've done some major alterations. Uh, the size that I got was extra large which was a bit too big for me um, so what I've ended up having to do is taper in the sides down the seams, taper in the sleeves um, and I've added extra buttons to keep flaps down as well. And the other big alteration is actually on the collar itself because Rex's collar does not close up like an officer's uniform. It actually has a slight parting in it and stays open. So I've had to uh, recut and sew that as well. As regards to the trousers or the pants, um, these were the officer's pants, that, the riding pants. So they did have the bellows on the side. To get rid of those, I actually just turned the pants inside out, ran a seam straight up um, to make them into straight leg trousers and then cut off the excess, turned them back out and then um, getting exactly the same type of fabric, then I made these pockets to go on the sides, um, just exactly the same as Rex has. He has these kind of combo packets. These actually do work. I have magic tape on them, sorry, Velcro, and you see they are workable. I can use them. Um, these bits here are made from a type of clay, uh, plastic clay that we can get here in Japan for modeling and I made these parts and then just colored them with a silver pen. Um, as regards to the belt system, originally I had bought a cheap officer's belt again from AliExpress um, but then I quickly realized that to make it work for the uniform I'd have to do some major alterations. The belt itself um, is not leather, it's kind of a, a imitation leather which wouldn't hold up to the holsters on the side. Um, and then the buckle itself wasn't too bad but by the time I would have changed that as well um, it would have been cheaper for me to buy something else and that's what I did. I put my feelers out onto to the Star Wars groups and they recommended Wampa Wear and this is a Wampa Wear belt. It is 
well worth the money so thank you very much guys want to wear make amazing products um, this is a really thick high quality leather belt and then I found that that they actually make uh, the officers buckles without the encoding ring on the front of it as well which is perfect for my costume so the belt comes from Wampawear. Thank you very much. Um, the pouches are basically their smartphone pouches. Um, they actually have two inserts. <clears throat> again, I got them from AliExpress. Again, uh, so then I with the clay pieces, I put the silver pieces on the front, exactly the same as Rex's. That's mainly the top part. The gloves that I'm wearing at the moment are my um, pilot gloves that I use for my armor. I do have leather gloves ordered. They are taking a little while to get in, but they should be here soon. And they have no markings on the back. They're fully um, leather, which will be perfect for the uniform as well. Now I'm gonna bring you in and I'm gonna show you the bottom part with my boots, because my boots are the part that took the longest to make. Right, Captain Rex's boots. Um, the boots that he wears are highlight boots that are padded for combat. Now these boots actually started their life out as cheap cosplay boots. Again, I got it from AliExpress and they were for the Attack of the Titans. And normally they have a knee piece that folds up. And so to make them look like Captain Rex's boots, I had taken them off and put restitched them, put padding in the inside, made part in the front. Again, this is all out of leatherette and we stitched them back on. I could have panel out the front of both of them, which then with more leatherette and padding um, sewed back in. And that has given me the look of Captain Rex's boots. These have no zippers in them. Um, and they are extremely comfortable. Now how long they will wear, I don't know, but for the time being, they look great and match the costume perfectly. But again, these only cost me about just over 2,000 yen, which is less than 20 pounds sterling, um, the same US dollars. So for cosplay, for the amount of time I'll be wearing them, they work fine. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to my Captain Rex's Jungle Assault costume. Um, do watch out in the next few weeks for more upcoming videos where I'll be making the guns and holsters um, and then a few weeks after that I'll start making the backpack and chest piece and finally sometime next month I'll be making Rex's hat and goggles. So do watch out for those videos. Again thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and as always remember may the force be with you. What?